So Glenn, um, cheers for joining us today. Well, just a quick update of where the keepers are, how they've progressed, and just yeah. a general sort of catch up, really. Yeah. Um, so we start with Elliot. Yeah. Obviously, a very good keeper since yeah. um, coming in. You've, he's won Player of the Month on I think it's November. Yeah. Um, have you seen his progression coming on? Um, yeah, no, he's done well. I think um, his performances um, have been very consistent. Mm -hmm. um, and I think you know the, the work that he's putting on the training ground, obviously, that reflects in those performances. So yeah, he's been good. And when you come in, what did you sort of uh, pick up on and what he needed to improve? And um, I don't think there's anything drastically that needed improving. You know, he, he had, he's, he's a very solid keeper, as, as we know. I think there's little bits that we could tidy up on. Um, and, and that's something that we, we look to do. The good thing with Elliot is obviously he's very... Um, open to suggestions hmm. um, so that's half the battle from a coaching standpoint um, when, when you've got a keeper that maybe is not as open it can be a little bit more difficult but Elliot is very sort of receptive to, to points and, and you know and where little pointers where he could improve and it has to be seen many times this season he's sort of got that way of coming out from a corner and helping the, the back line and from corners he can yeah. sort of come and capture ball, yeah. is that something you've pushed into mm -hmm. his game? Yeah, I think um, that, that was probably one of the areas that we sort of, um, between the two of us, identified um, that could do maybe a little bit of work just to get his confidence um, and then, you know, you've seen a lot this, this season now where he's coming for balls, you know, and, and that, that takes the pressure off the, the back three or five, um, so that's been really pleasing. And um, not forgetting um, number 12, Lewis Moore. Yeah. He's obviously always on the toes. We've seen him at Ebsley. He's come in, yeah. earn a man in the match performance. So yeah. it's definitely not one to sort of sit on and forget. No, I think, um, I think it's, it's important that any sort of goalkeeping group that you've got, that you've got good competition. Um, and Lewis, you know, he, he hasn't played much football this year um, in terms of first team football. Obviously, the absolute game, he came in and, and he did really well. Um, and, you know, it was quite a, a difficult game for him to come in because, you know, he was told sort of the day before um, because obviously Elliot, Elliot was ill. And, yeah, he, he did really well that day, as, as you say, he was man of the match. So, yeah, and, and again, he, he, like I said, with Elliot, he trains really well. So, he, he's been good. And so the last two games have sort of put the sort of defeats behind us. and. It's turning around sort of positive. Last one all against um, AFC Fylde, a very good yeah. attacking side, and a clean sheet against Barrow. So yeah. two sort of positive sides as a goalkeeper standpoint. Yeah, away. yeah. No, I think um, to get the draw at, at Fylde was was a really good good result um, because obviously they're right up there um, and they've they've got some some good players. Um, so that was a really really good performance from the boys and. You know, I think I think we said at the time as well that the Davis fans that made the, the trip up there that was brilliant. So that, that really helped us get over the line. Um, and then the, at the Barrow game, you know, fantastic um, turnout for the Daggers against Racism Day. Um, and as you say, it was, a, it was a solid, solid clean sheet and a solid point against a good team. So yeah, it was good. And as you mentioned, there Daggers against Racism Day. Is it? Good way for the club to spread this message yeah. that, to eradicate this um, in football and in wider society, but just also sort of bring some fresh faces into yeah. the club and hopefully see the, that we are a good club and yeah. see a few faces return. Mm -hmm. No, I think um, it was uh, from from what I was told is the the tenth year that the club had done it. So I mean that's that's fantastic um, for the club to to do that and and sort of get the community on board with with what the football club's trying to do. Um, and, and as, as you say, I think with the, 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 the new faces that was in the crowd, that was really great to see and, and hopefully they, they would have enjoyed the experience and, and just for the community to know that, you know, as a football club, it's a football club that's in place for everybody. Um, so hopefully they'll come back and, and cheer the boys on. And next up we see a tr uh, trip to Ebsley United. Mm. A, a very good team, also pushing yeah. for playoffs. So yeah. again, it's not going to be an easy game. No, it's going to be a, be a difficult game. But you know, I think on our day we've shown that we can compete with the best in, in the league. Um, mm -hmm. And you know, it's, it's a bit of a local derby as well. So hopefully there'll be a good amount of Daggers fans there um, supporting the boys, and it'll be a positive day. Yeah.